so my name is Tobias. Uh, I work as the Experience Design Director for Mojang, which means um, on a daily basis, I try to figure out what's frustrating when playing Minecraft. And then our team tries to fix that, be it inside the game when you're playing or just like how to reach gameplay to begin with. Um, and, but my, my background is, is really in UI design and development. So I spend a lot of time at, at Spotify and GitHub and other companies, startups like that. Mojang, there's, there's the difficult thing with experience design is that the word product is taken within the gaming industry because that means a physical product like a plush toy or like a game, which means if you're a product designer, you do physical products. So really, experience design is like any product design job in, at another startup. So it means typically that we listen to the community, we look at the design, and we try to figure out what's confusing, what could be frustrating, what could be made simpler, and then we um, build alternative solutions, and we ship them, and we try to measure and figure out if it's better, if the community likes it. Now, especially with Minecraft, it's very tricky because we have a lot of people with a lot of opinions, which we, which we love, and we listen to that. But, but that's the fundamental job, to, to try to improve things and then listen and see. We are, I can't share any details, but I, I can share that we're working on something big. So we, we had an issue that came up with um, the merging of our code base, actually. So we, we are on a lot of platforms. It's sort of a joke that any platform there is, Minecraft is on it. Um, and we merged our code bases so that the same code now basically runs on iOS and Android and Xbox, for example. There used to be another UI on Xbox. So now there's a new UI. Some people don't like it. So we ended up in this situation where we launched a new version. We have two versions out there. Some prefer the old one rather than the new one. So we know we've made mistakes before, and we're looking to fix that. So we're working on something big to try to fix it, but that means working slowly and listening to the community and, and not doing the same mistake again. So I think people will be really excited, but it's too early at this point to share any details. Last year, I started studying statistics more. And it might f sound weird to uh, like study the, um, like, uh, how to just work with stati statistics, but I think that's one of the most like, like, neglected subjects because we all work with statistics, but we don't even know the fundamental like, uh, phenomenons that happen with statistics. So there's, there's a ton of examples, but that's something that where I just, I used to buy a lot of programming books and like go up every morning and try to work through them. Now I've been doing that, but with statistic books, just trying to understand core concepts. Something that I'm also doing is honestly trying to um, relax more and not follow a book. So the opposite of this. So what I did, which is the best life decision ever, I bought a piano, I had no idea how to play, and I sat down and I started just playing every morning, and I tried to figure out why does it not sound good when I play. And so I kept on iterating, and now I, I try to wake up every day and improvise for a few minutes, and it's starting to sound better and better, and even though it doesn't sound good at all times, it's one of the best experiences that, that I have every day. It's like, it's a, it's a guaranteed way to get into flow, and I wish more people would do things without feeling a pressure to perform, to do something well. It's just, it's just fun, it's a game. Um, so I'm spending a lot of time with my piano. I think anyone who says anything about cryptocurrencies is bound to make a prediction that turns out to be wrong. Um, I'm very wary. To, to talk about it in general. But I think it's, it's, it's an exciting technology. Personally, I think the um, investing in it and, and the value of it, it's a way too volatile market to, to even make any predictions about. So therefore, it's, it's just risk involved. So, so therefore, I think it also better to focus on the technology. And I think there's technology interesting. 
Generally, though, I'm more interested in slower technologies because we tend to forget about them. Like now, 3D printing is actually getting interesting. Now, 3D printing is, is coming to a stage where we all forgot about it as, a, as an exciting new concept, but we were finding better uses for it. And we're seeing companies change their productions, production lines with 3D printing. Um, I'm also mostly excited about seeing the pressure, not excited about, how should I phrase this? I'm curious to see how AI and automation um, affects politics. I'm extremely interested and I hope that we'll see universal uh, basic income be implemented. And I think that automation will be a significant driver for that. And that's what I'm trying to learn the most about right now. And uh, then the interplay between those new technologies and, and politics. Um, way too many. <laughs> I, um, someone said something interesting at another conference recently, which was that sometimes I don't learn things at a conference, but I learn about my ignorance. As in, it's not really the information that someone lays out on stage or a certain conversation. It's, it's about what people even talk about. As in, oh, they're trying to explain this new technology to me. Then I realize, oh, I'm ignorant of this technology completely, which means I have to go back and, and focus on it. So I think that's immensely powerful, but also this is, this is like the highlight. I, I'm so tired of staring at screens. I'd rather stare at people. And this is a great uh, context to do that and just meet nice people. Uh, so it's, it's like asking what's the, the, what's the value in eating? Like it's, it's the core. <laughs>